So as you can see, the state of my library is not exactly what it used to be. I used to be a very orderly, organized person, and my library was always spick and span. But lately the books have piled up and I have lost track. You know, I work full time. I'm trying to finish a book. I make YouTube videos like crazy. The organization of my library has kind of fallen by the wayside. But you can see piles and piles and piles of books all over the place on my desk on the floor down here. I kept telling myself, you know, I'm going to haul all of these piles of books. I'm gonna make book hauls, and then once I do that, I can organize them onto the shelves, it'll be done. But it's gotten to be where I can't haul all of these books. That's gonna be like hours and hours and hours of videos. And until then, they're just sitting on the floor and on piles on my shelves. And I really just need to get them organized onto the shelves. All of these books that are on this shelf here that look really ugly and unorganized, those are all books to haul as well. I have some over there in that corner. Those books are to haul. It's getting to be too much. I'm scrapping the idea of doing book hauls for all of these. I'm just gonna get them organized onto the shelves and then you guys will be able to see these books in collection videos. It's a good problem to have, but I need to get them on the shelves. I need to get organized. I need to unhaul some books. There's a lot of books on my shelves that I no longer need or want and I probably should just get rid of them. So that's gonna be one of the next things I do. So I'm gonna be making room for new books, getting these other books off the floor and making this library a cozy space again that I can work in and that'll look nice for my upcoming library tour. Time to get started. So firstly, I'm starting off with my shelf of vintage horror paperbacks, my Paperbacks from Hell collection. All of these books are in alphabetical order by the author's last name, so that way I'm able to find them a little bit better. Now it is a pain in the butt to try to organize all of these by the author's last name, but it really does make it so much easier to find all of these books since I have so many of them. Now I am adjusting the shelves, trying to maximize the amount of room I have for paperbacks, and I am merging all of my new acquisitions in with all of my older books, trying to get them all alphabetized, yada yada. It's a lot of work and it took a very long time, but I think it looks very nice. Now a big thing about these paperbacks is the awesome cover art. So I have chosen to display a few of my vintage horror paperbacks and face them forward so that way I can see the covers. Kind of gives it that video store effect. So it is day two of reorganizing my library. And uh, last night I was up a little bit late trying to get this back wall done. So this back wall of vintage horror paperbacks is now finished. And now I need to work on organizing the rest of these books right down here, this front row, in with all of these. So these are also vintage horror paperbacks uh, that are all in alphabetical order. I'm going to merge these new books in with these, which takes a lot of time, but it needs to get done. So that's what I'm working on next. I frequently get comments saying something along the lines of, Cameron, how do you tear the back rows of your paperbacks? And to that I say, use anything you can. I use cardboard boxes, cut down cardboard scraps, two by fours, which is especially helpful because they're so sturdy. So if you have a miter saw or a table saw and you have the ability to cut two by fours, I say use two by fours. It's a little more expensive, but it is extremely sturdy and it will hold the books perfectly. Also, if you don't have a miter saw at home, you can always ask people at Lowe's or Home Depot or any hardware store to cut them for you. Usually they will. You can also use styrofoam. So if you buy, say, a couch and you don't know what to do with all of these giant pieces of styrofoam and you know that they're just gonna go to some landfill, you can repurpose those, cut them down, use them to tear your books. It's messy, but that's what vacuums are for. Making some progress. I have finished pretty much all of the vintage horror paperbacks. I go all the way along this wall and continue over here. I also have organized my Gothic section. So we have my VC Andrews, random Gothic books in the back, 
all of my movie tie-ins and then my TV tie-ins. Like down here, I have Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel. And I have a few more TV tie-ins I need to put on the shelf, which are these ones right here, like all of my Charmed books, X-Files, etc. Those are gonna go over here on this shelf, which <laughs> is kind of covered up with stacks of books. Down here, I have some young adult horror books that I was going to show in a book haul. But right now I need to take all of those off the shelves and organize them so that way I can fit them onto this shelf right here. So back here, I have all of my vintage horror uh, young adult books from like the 80s and 90s. And as you can see, they're not all gonna fit on this shelf because it is already cram packed. Up here on this shelf, it's gonna continue with just horror paperbacks. So those are gonna be young adult horror books up on these shelves. And I'm gonna put the remaining TV tie-ins down there. So that's the next step is getting those off the shelf, organizing them, figuring out where they need to go on here and eventually up there. These were middle grade books that I was gonna show in a book haul as well. Uh, but right now I'm just gonna take all of these off the shelves, organize all of those too, so that way I can merge them with all of my other middle grade horror books that are in this corner. So as you can see, there's still lots to do. <laughs> I need to get all of these organized. I need to purge a bunch of these fantasy books back here because I'm never gonna read them. There's so much to do, but I'm having fun and I am making some progress. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue with the young adult horror. One of the best parts about reorganizing my library is finally being able to take these new books that I've purchased the past year and merge them in with my other books in my collections. Now I can finally put these series of books that I've completed together and it's so satisfying to see them all together on the shelf. So the shelf you see here that's holding my young adult horror books is a shelf from Better Homes and Gardens. I got it off of Amazon. I love it. It's a great size. It fits perfectly in the middle of the room. It doesn't obscure too much of the view of the open space, but it's also very wide. It holds two rows of paperbacks and a row of hardcovers. So I was able to really cram this shelf full of books. Now I have finished organizing all of the books on that shelf and I have moved on to the other shelves trying to put the overflow of my young adult horror books onto those shelves. As you can see here, I have two by fours that elevate the back rows, which again, I highly recommend. You can also use smaller two by four pieces to elevate the rows even more if you need to. The library is getting done, slowly but surely. It's taking a lot of time. It's taken me many nights so far, but it's starting to come together. It doesn't look like it. I mean, if you look on the floor, you can see that there's still piles of books everywhere. But that's what happens, you know, everything looks worse before it looks better. What I'm working on right now is middle grade. It's been quite the job, but I am organizing all of my middle grade horror books. So all of my Goosebumps knockoffs and things like that. Again, just merging in all of my newer acquisitions into my current collection and filling everything out. And it's finally coming together and looking really, really sharp. I'm very happy with how it's turning out. Now I am organizing my Goosebumps Shrine, which I have been very excited to get into. I have received many new Goosebumps books and items that I wanted to display, so I'm working on that right now, getting it all filled out. I will be coming back with an updated Goosebumps collection video very soon, just to let you know. You know, no spoilers, but it's gonna happen. Hours later, my Goosebump Shrine is complete and organized and looking better than ever. If the Goosebumps collection took hours to complete, imagine how long it took to complete the entire library. I worked on this library every night for a whole month straight. It took a lot of time, a lot of effort, and after some finishing touches, it is finally done.
Every single book in my collection is finally organized and put where it needs to be. And the atmosphere is equal parts cozy and spooky. This room is a shrine to everything I love, from books to ghosties and ghoulies, nostalgia for my childhood and those simpler times. Every item in my library is something special and dear to me. Whether it's a gift or something from my childhood or something I picked up at a yard sale, everything has some kind of sentimental value. I don't just go out to an at-home store and mindlessly buy decor to decorate my library. Everything in this room is important to me and far more than just an aesthetic. This library is an embodiment of me, of who I am, of who I was, and who I want to be. And I can't think of a better place to spend my time, be it leisure or work. The Library Macabre is open for business. You know, I've always said that the library of any house is the heart of that house. And I'm so glad that my house has its heart back. And now that the library is done, that means I can finally film the last episode of season one of Library Macabre. And that is going to be my grand finale, my updated library tour. Thank you all for coming on this journey with me and helping me get my library back into shape. And I will see you very, very soon in my updated library tour. Later creeps.